I think it's uh, going to be a great event. I was uh, at the CPL last December, and it was huge. And it looks like they've got more more BYOC spots set up and more vendors booths set up and things like that, as well as a great big tournament area. Expected to be a great event. I'm actually here just uh, with some friends of mine. I manage a draft team for the Cal side of CPL. And so I'm here to meet some of the players that play for me in the Cal division and then also friends and stuff like that that I know from online. Just have a good time and do some gaming and just get to visit with people that you kind of only get to see once a year. Bring An event like this brings you together. How far did you come to the CPL? Well, luckily I live here in Dallas, so it's just about a 45-minute drive over from Fort Worth. What do you think of the event so far? Um, just got in, got my equipment set up, but they always kind of start off slow, and then the, the servers go up, and everybody starts landing, and then it's pretty fun from there on out. Do you enjoy spectating any of the matches? Yeah, I do, especially once it gets down to the finals, um, and the uh, last six or seven teams are going at it. You can uh, just sit and watch and, and see their strategies come out and, and the skill that the guys have got, and everybody gets pretty into it. And Eventually, especially in the finals, everybody starts cheering when people uh, win rounds, so it's pretty fun. All right. What do you think of the event so far? Oh, it's been great getting to meet all the people I've met online, you know, put some faces with these names. You can really interact with the people. You can, you know, say, hey, come over here, help me out of defense, or, you know, you guys go, af go out to eat after an event have some fun together. It's, it's good. Uh, my name is Theron Spear. I go by Good Boy. The nice thing about coming here is that sometimes I'll meet my friends for the first time that I've played with online for maybe a year. But that's why I, that's one of the big reasons why I always continue to come is because I have a lot of friends I've made here and to some of them this is the only place I see them. So. Where do you come from? I'm from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Do you enjoy spectating any of the matches here at the CPL? Yeah, well, I'm looking. I'm really looking forward to spectating the CS matches. What do you think the difference is between gaming here at a LAN or just gaming online with your friends? Um, well, the nice thing about a LAN is you're able to see everyone playing, and online cheating is one of the biggest problems in games these days, and you can't cheat at a LAN. And the pings are a whole lot nicer than online because you're getting like a 10 ping as opposed to 70. And so it's a lot smoother and it's a lot more fun. Uh, I came from Denver, Colorado. It took me 18 hours to get here on a bus. And it took some other people 50 hours. So, I don't know. It's a lot more atmospheric here. You get, you're with all your friends, you can see them, hear the reactions. Plus, there's the ping. So, it's a lot better.
I'm here with a famous UT gamer. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Well, uh, I'm Sulg Björn Sunnesson from Sweden. I'm the only UT player here from Sweden, so... Uh, yeah, I'm a bit pissed off today since I got knocked out. Uh -huh. But I made top 16, so I get, get a little money at least. But uh, overall, I'm not really, really uh, comfortable with my placing, but it's okay, I guess. Got Why don't you go ahead and uh, give us a little bit of history about yourself? Well, uh, I started playing Quake back in 96 when it was released. So then I got on the internet with my uh, slow 28k modem and yeah. uh, started playing. And uh, I've been playing since then. I played Quake 2 and I played the Unreal Tournament. And uh, Why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about the competition here at the CPL? Well, I, I think everybody from Europe is a bit surprised uh, about how good the Americans are playing. They're like only... I think there's only two Europeans in the top eight where people were expecting us to play to place a bit higher. So the comp competition has been really good and uh, some surprising people here. I think Fatality is much better than everyone expected and uh, Seapens is really good also. No one knew about him. So the competition here is tough but uh, everyone is nice so it's okay. Why do you think uh, Fatality is uh, so good here at the tournament where he hasn't actually played UT ever before? Well, from what I've heard, he's practiced, first I heard he's practiced eight hours a day for like two months, and I was like, oh, then it's gonna be good. And, th and now I heard from some secret sources that he's uh, actually been playing a lot more than that. And if you play that much, you're gonna be good. What's your favorite weapon and favorite map for UT too? Well, I don't really have a favorite map for one one yet. I, I'm not really comfortable on, on playing the ones they picked here, but uh, for team game, I really like uh, Asbestos. It's a really good forum format, so that's probably probably my favorite map. And favorite weapon is uh, Flak Cannon or the Goo Gun. Basically spammy weapons that you don't need so much aim, but... Uh, in the Fatality match, we saw you shield jump. How can you actually do that and get so high? Well, first you have to be really scared about getting killed. <laughs> So you get a bit extra hate then, but basically you shield jump and then you wall dodge off the wall so you bounce up, bounce up to the health and you get back your health, the health you lost from the shield jump from the pickups up there. Do you have any sponsors already to get you to the CPL? No, I'm paying the trip myself. I'm uh, just that stupid. Thank you very much for doing the interview. Do you have anybody else you'd like to say hello to? Yeah, I, I have a, can list a bunch of names. I want to say hi to, first of all, my whole Foos clan. Too many people to list, but uh, I love you all. And <laughs> to my family, of course, who's supporting me in all my gaming silliness. And to my girlfriend, Sophie, who's uh, very supportive also.
had a fantastic performance. For it was definitely rough, but uh, you know, I, the whole map he had control, and I was just running, just trying to get away from him, and he, you know, got six frags on me. So, uh, so I just, you know, I saw the time running down, had three minutes, decided I had to kick it into gear, had to, you know, attack, do a risky move. And I finally got it, and then I just ran out of time. It seemed like you were on roll once you got control of the Yeah, uh, that's the all it was. The, uh, the shields. Yeah, that's all it was, was control, and he had it the entire map. I couldn't get it from him for the life of me. But once I did, he started, he started running like I was, so it was very close. Right now I'm standing here with the CPL champion for three years in a row, Fatality. Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and uh, tell us how the match went a little bit? Um, basically, from the very get go, I had the 100 armor and the, the shock. The very first shot I shot was a head shot right in the face, and uh, I wasn't liking that too much. But uh, I, I was able to get away a little bit and stuff, and then actually uh, get going with the match. And actually, I got the first fat kill, and then actually, I got six more kills after that, or five more. And uh, I pretty much controlled the map the whole game. And then at the last three minutes, he actually got a good shot off on me and actually killed me. So then it was six one with about two minutes and forty seconds left. And basically, I just played conservative and always ran away and always ran away and played really conservative, like play, play kind of deep, you know, mm -hmm. and have him come to me. And uh, pretty much just kept running and uh, he got a couple more frags, but the time was already up and stuff, and the uh, game was over six three. Explain how you uh, kept control of the damage amp during the, the match. <laughs> basically, I mean, it's 80 seconds right after you pick it up. So you pick it up at 24, it's gone to 44, but the other minute, you know. And um, that's how I keep track of it. I just keep track of the 100 armor and the most of the amp and uh, go from there. Now, this map was very shock rifle friendly. You think that actually helped you? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, I, I, uh, I delivered a lot of shocks and a lot of combo meals, so. Uh, <laughs> if you know the shock combo, so uh, we call it the combo meal. Dave Thomas. <laughs> How much work do you think it really takes to put in to become a champion for three years in a row now? It's it's very hard. I mean, you have to be uh, you have to be very dedicated and very uh, in the zone and very focused about what you want to do. And uh, you have to have goals. And uh, my goal was to be three three years CPL champion of the year. And uh, you know, my goal is to be now four years. I mean, like, I'm gonna keep making goals. I mean, I, I, I want to be the best ever, and, and uh, I think I've already shown that here now. But uh, I, I want to really go down to history. Um, you know, just uh, really, you know, destroy the record. All right, congratulations. All right, thanks a lot.
How do you think your offense and defense was working tonight? Oh man, D was tight. Uh, and o, was, o, o was always We had a rhythm tight. going. It's it one of our off the relay. We capped the flag. We had somebody in the flag room ready to drop it down and keep going. I don't know. We had something going. I'm the big variable in the, the matches, I guess. You know? <laughs> Got a couple of wrench skills, so that's all that matters. When you were up at the half, did you think you had the match locked up? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We were, we yeah, were fairly we confident. Did. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, you know, that's how it goes. We knew we had a pretty good chance of winning the entire time from just the map and how we played the map before as a team and 404 didn't have too much experience on it. We had a great time and hopefully we'll have another chance to do this. All right, congratulations. Thank, All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you know, like 10 teams can win this tournament, and like, so you, you have to have a good day, then you will win. So. I'm a bit of luck.
in middle. The guy with the bomb, he has to run. Bomb down. Keep it off. Nice job. I got that off. Hey, who dog is this? won the winner 2002 CPL event. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourselves. Uh, my name is Craig Torbo Levine. I'm Ogo Steele. Ronald Rambo Kim. Kyle K Sharp Miller. Sean Bullseye Morgan. Dave uh, Modo Geffon. Dave Kane Cannon. Second round, uh, your T-side save round was the key round, I think, to the match. Can you guys explain that to us a little bit? Well, uh, what we were trying to do was just uh, camp them out because we knew what they were going to do. They would, because they did the same thing when we played them on Inferno. They would uh, try and try and uh, come kill us not to get a, win the round by money timeout. And we did the same thing we did to them the first time, which was kill uh, several of their players with uh, the guns we were using. 
and it kind of messed them up as far as uh, their money coordination went as far as uh, the rest of that half. Uh, Morgan, why the hell do you like the sink so much? <laughs> Uh, well, for one thing, you actually move faster with the Augen Sig than AK and M4. Um, I just like the, the speed of fire, rate of fire, and it's just what I'm comfortable with. So. We were pretty confident from the get-go, from the very first uh, match, that we would probably do very well. But uh, as we were playing SK, uh, we knew how, how good we were, and we were just even more confident after that that we would go on to win. It's just about being number one and proving it to everyone. You know, the money's just the icing on the cake. Uh, just go, coming out and winning against this great competition was just a feat in itself, and we're just happy that we did it. How do you guys feel about bringing it back to the U.S.? Definitely glad that we could uh, take it away from the Europeans who always talk so much smack to us great. online. It's a pride thing, yes. and uh, we're happy to represent America again. Uh, we'd like to thank Steelpad. Uh, they make gaming mouse pads. You can actually buy them on our website, team3d.net. Uh, they helped us get here. They've been really supportive through anything, everything. Uh, additionally, Game Demons, www.gamedemons.net. Uh, they provide us with a server to practice on online, which helps us prepare for matches and events like this. They have a great job. They've got a great service, and uh, they've really been, done a lot for us. All right. We've got a lot of tournaments. I think this event went really well. Congratulations to everybody, all the teams. I think everybody's so much more professional than at past events. We've got managers, we've got teams that are just amazing and organized. So congratulations to everybody and the volunteers and the staff who really pulled this off. In third place, winning $2,000 is zero tolerance. Thank you.